Welcome everyone, uh, this is Joe Rebello here at the Dartmouth Council on Aging, continuing our journey into the art of Tai Chi Chuan. Tai Chi comes from the ancient Taoist philosophy in the Tao Te Ching, uh, in the, uh, one of the quatrains of Lao Tzu's famous book, it says, in the beginning there was a void, and from the void came the one, and the one became the two, and the two became the 10,000 things. The one is a reference to the eternal Tao, the two, the yin and yang, and the 10,000 things, the Tai Chi, the universal totality, also known to many as the grand ultimate. In today's show, we're going to be going over uh, our intermediate program. Now, for those of you who have studied for many years with me, you can check out our first episode going over the basic format of class and the Wu's Tai Chi form uh, through YouTube under the uh, Dartmouth Community TV uh, channel on YouTube. In today's show, we're going to be featuring some of our intermediate program. We're going to be going over some of the, the uh, Qigong movements with, with, with footwork and motion rather than just standing still. Uh, we're going to teach you some different Qigong exercises. We're also going to be going into the second form of Tai Chi that I teach, which is the Yangs, or as us Yankees in New England say, the Yangs style of Tai Chi. We'll be going over several movements of the master form, which consists of over 108 movements. Last but not least, we'll be giving a demonstration on the use of the Tai Chi ball in the Tai Chi sphere. In the future, we hope to be doing a seminar here at the Dartmouth Council on Aging, going over the use of this distinct apparatus. But first and foremost, let's begin our journey into the art of Tai Chi. Let's pull back a little bit. We're going to go into the use of Dan Tian breathing. We're going to take our left foot, draw it in to meet our right. Our back is straight with proper posture. We're going to close our hands lightly into fists, bending our first knuckles, second knuckles, and placing our thumbs atop our fists. Then we're going to place our hands, palms facing in at the Dan Tian, the golden furnace, a golden stove, one of the center points of balance of the body located below the navel, above the groin, at the center of the hip girdle. How do we find the point? Simple. When you bow, the Dantian is located at the center of the natural fold point of the body. Our breathing will be nasal. We're going to inhale through our nose. We're going to exhale through our nose, allowing saliva, the jade elixir, to form on the underside of our palate. Placing our the tip of our tongue lightly touching the roof of our palate, we're going to inhale through our nose, relaxing our chest, allowing our abdomen to expand. And then as we exhale, we'll draw our abdomen in. So we'll inhale. Exhale. Three repetitions. Let's begin. Regulate your breathing. Once more. Very good. Keeping your hands at the Dantian, we'll now progress on to Hm Ha. Now, these are two of the six major Taoist healing sounds. The ancient Taoist monks from northern China, when focusing and understanding the natural way that the body cleanses itself of congestion, infection, and illness, looked at the various sounds that we would make. Now, obviously, the first two are obvious. Hmm and ha. They simulate the action of sneezing and coughing to clear the airways of the body. Our first sound is a sound, hmm, a short, sharp exhalation through our nose, clearing our sinus passageways. Now, we're going to inhale deeply through our nose, and as we exhale, we're going to lightly press on the Dantian, as if we were stoking the furnace, as it were. As we do so, we'll exhale sharply with the sound, hmm. We'll do three repetitions. Now, you can do any odd number. You may start at three and go three, five, seven, up to nine repetitions. If you're having congestion and illness and you really want to cleanse your airways, this is a wonderful exercise that you can utilize. Now, make sure if you are feeling that, make sure you have a, a tissue near, or a Kleenex nearby. Let's begin. Inhale. 
exhale. Hmm. Inhale. Exhale. Hmm. Once more. Inhale. Exhale. Hmm. Our second sound is a sound, ha, a short, sharp exhalation through our mouth designed to cleanse the lower sections of our lungs. Especially in today's atmosphere, people are very concerned about their ability to breathe and regulate their breathing. So this is a wonderful exercise that you can practice to clear your airways and increase your lung capacity. Again, we're going to inhale deeply. And as we exhale, we'll exhale with the sound, ha, as we press upon the dantian. Three repetitions. Let's begin. Inhale. Exhale. Ha! Inhale. Exhale. Ha! Inhale. Exhale. Ha! Very good. Drop your hands down to your sides. And our next key ingredient is one of the keystones to balance. Three simple words. Bend your knees. We'll inhale deeply. Exhale, bending our knees, rooting ourselves to the earth. Then slowly lift your left foot up on toe and open out to horse dance distance. Now in today's class, I'm not acting as a mirror image. So when I say left, be aware of that and step out with your left foot. At this point, uh, we're going to go on to some new exercises. Now again, for those of you who are taking classes with me and you're sitting there saying, well, well, I wanna, I wanna do the, the way our, our format normally is, and that's perfectly fine. Again, check on YouTube, Dartmouth Community Television, and check out the episode with our basic content. But now we're going on to an intermediate level. Some of my students look at me and go, Oh, I want to learn more. I want to learn some new things. I want to... So this is giving you that opportunity to see what the future holds and see some of the intermediate uh, exercises, qigong, and forms that we teach. Uh, what we're going to start off doing, again, we have our classic exercise with neck turns, but what we're going to do today is we're going to add a little waist action into it. So what we're going to do, we're going to bring our elbows out to our sides, bring our hands up, and our eyes are going to follow our hands. This way we're working our neck, and our waist. This is known as the Shaolin salute. I want to bring our elbows out to the side. We're going to turn our waist. Our eyes are going to follow our hands and we're going to press lightly three times. And then we're going to go all the way opposite side. Turning our neck and waist, press three times and come back to center. Now as we do so, we're going to count from one to ten in Mandarin Chinese. In Mandarin, one to ten is yi, er, sang, su, wu, Liu Chi Ba Jo Sure. Now I know some of you out there watching this program may say, I'll never remember that. With time, practice, and patience, you can learn it as well. But follow along with me. So this is our neck turn and waist twist. And we've got another exercise we're going to do that's similar to this in a moment. So off to your left. Yi or son. Switch. Yi, yi, san, switch, yi, er, san, er, yi, er, san, switch, yi, er, san, song, yi, er, san, switch, su, yi, er, san, switch, Wu, yi, switch, liu, yi, switch, qi, yi, switch, ba, yi, switch, Jo switch sure and relax. 
Now we should emphasize that the turning action, and I'm going to reverse the angle for a moment so I can talk to you about this. As we turn our body, it's very important as we bring our body as far as we can, we're doing three light presses. Now this is not a sharp ballistic action of bounce. It's merely a light press. One, two, three. Nothing more. And again, as I turn to the opposite direction, I turn as far as I can, and then three light pressing actions. One, two, three. There you are. Again, that's the key ingredient, that the circular motion is designed to increase our range of motion, yet not create any adverse stress or strain or pressure upon our body. Our second variation we're going to do on this is known as, uh, uh, this is the, uh, the Taoist waist twist. And for this, both of our hands are going to start with the, the Tai Chi motion of sunrise, sunset. We rise up to sunrise, and we're going to extend our fingertips out. And as we turn our body, one arm's going to extend and one arm's going to fold. Now, if we can get a close up here, and uh, we're going to try to get as close as we can to the symbol here, the yin and yang. Now, as you pull in close, I want to explain that in reality, this symbol is not static. It's like two fish chasing each other, or two tadpoles. The yin and yang is in constant motion and movement. That circular action is one of the keystones of what we utilize in the art of Tai Chi. Now, come on up and see me. Welcome back. Uh, we're going to do a close-up here of the, the symbol of uh, our studio, which is the Wutong Dragon Master Kung Fu Academy, and of course Tai Chi as well. As you can see in the background, you have the circle, which is half black, half white, and you see these arcing actions. It's to symbolize a water wheel, yet another understanding of circular and continuous motion. Circular motion was one of the critical keys to the art of Tai Chi. Now, let's continue on our journey, shall we, as we go into the Taoist waist twist. From this position, what I'm going to do is one arm is going to extend like the tail of the yin and yang. The other will fold like the head of the yin and yang, like the tadpole shape, that, that, that comma symbol. So what we're going to do is we're going to let our arms swing, bend, and as we extend with our hand as far as we can, we're going to do three light pressing actions. Yi, Er, Sang, we extend our arms out, opposite side, Yi, Er, Sang. I'll reverse the angle so you can see and get a better perspective into it. So again, from the rear view, as my hands are up, my arm's going to extend and my other arm's going to fold across my body. And once I reach as far as I can comfortably, I'm going to do three light pressing actions to extend my range of motion. Yi, Er, Sang. And I'm going to let my arms extend the center point and go the opposite way. Yi, Er, Sang. Let's begin. The Taoist waist twist and also a neck turn as well. Arms come up in sunrise position and turn. Yi, Er, Sang. Back to center. Switch, yi, er, sang, that's yi, yi, er, sang, switch, yi, er, sang, that's er, yi, er, sang, switch, yi, er, sang, that's song. Yi, er, song. Switch. Yi, er, song. That's su. Yi, er, song. Switch. Yi, er, song. That's wu. Yi, er, Song. Switch. Yi, er, song. That's Liu. Yi, er, song. 
switch. Yi, er, sang. That's chi. Yi, er, sang. Switch. Yi, er, sang. That's ba. Yi, er, sang. Switch. Yi, er, sang. That's jo. Yi, er, sang. Switch. Yi, er, sang. And that's sure. One of the classic animal images that's associated with the art of Tai Chi. Many times you will see a statue of a tortoise or turtle and wrapped on top of it and sometimes wrapped around it will be a snake. This action looks like the hands of the, or the head of the snake uh, is symbolic of the soft, supple pliability. The tortoise is symbolic of the slow, methodic, patient motion. Tai Chi combines that soft, yielding flexibility and pliability along with that slow, patient, meticulous movement. And that's the beauty of Tai Chi. Uh, let's take a, a couple of other actions. We're going to go now into uh, variation on, we've done our neck circles, our neck turns through our previous actions. We've done our waist twists. What do we do with our arms? Uh, today we're going to take a simple action and this is going to be a much wider movement. Uh, and again, we do, our, we do the, the, the arm circle, which we come up, out, around, and down. And then we come up, in, and down. Well, today we're going to work on for the yang style of Tai Chi, so our arm circle is going to work in correlation to that. And that's going to be the movement cross hands. We take our two hands, put them in front of us, like the wings of a butterfly. Weep, 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 weep. <laughs> we're going to take our elbows. We're going to bring our hands, palm out, down, in, and up. Back to our butterfly position, crossing your hands. Let's begin. Inhale. Yi. Er. Song. Su. Wu. Liu. Chi. Ma. Zhou. Sure. Now we'll reverse the circles. We're going to bring our hands down, around, draw that energy in, and back to center. So again, down, around, and in. Let's begin. Yi. Er. Song. Su. Wu. Liu. Qi. Ma. Zhou. Shi. And relax. Very good. Now, in our last class, we discussed about shoulder circles, rolling forward both our shoulders and rolling back. Now what we're going to do in today's class, we're going to alternate. So, again, this looks like a wonderful isolation exercise or an old routine from burlesque for those of the members who remember that. You're going to roll your right shoulder, left shoulder, right shoulder, left shoulder, right shoulder. Now we're going to roll forward first. So we're going to go left, right. Like we're rowing a boat. Left, right. Or paddling a kayak. Left and right. Let's begin. So, left, right, 
Yi, left, right, Er, left, right, Song, left, right, Su, left, right, Wu, left, right, Liu, left, right, Qi, left, right, Ba, left, right, Zhou, left, right, sure. Now that's rolling forward. Now we're going to roll back. So left back, right back. Let's begin. Left, right, Yi, left, right, Er, left, right, Song, left, right, Su, left, right, Wu, left, right, Liu, left, right, Qi, left, right, Ba, left, right, Joe, left, right, sure. Now, let's go on to our next exercise. Now, again, we did the isolation with our shoulders. Uh, I have certain students who have a frozen shoulder or shoulder replacement surgery, and they need to be, they say, I can only move one arm right now, you know, and I have to move slowly. So this is something that you can utilize. Our next exercise is going to be uh, waist circles or hip circles. Now, if you have a problem with a hip or past uh, hip surgery, knee surgery, and uh, again, you, you say it would hurt for me to do this exercise, well, as the great Honey Youngman said, guy walks into a doctor's office and says, Doc, Doc, it hurts when I do this. Doc says, don't do that. So we have alternate exercises you can do, like our waist twist that you can utilize instead. But for those of you who can do the circular motion, let's pass this exercise along to you. Place your two hands on your hips, and you're going to push your hips off to your right. Then you're going to come forward, left, and out to the rear, drawing a circle with your hips. So we'll do 10 repetitions. Push off to your right, and ye, er, song, su, wu, liu, chi. Ma, Jo, sure. Very good. Now pushing off to your left. Yi, er, sang, su, wu, liu, chi. Ma, Jo, Sure. Very good. Now, our final exercise today, again, many of our students in Tai Chi suffer from problems with balance. So you may or may not be able to do this particular exercise. Occasionally, you may need help with this one. Now, give me a moment. We're going to grab a chair. Now, you don't have to have the chair, but if you're at home right now, this will give you a great opportunity when you can use a nearby support instead of a cane or just place, doesn't have to have a hand, just even just one finger on the chair. We're going to bend both our knees. This is an ankle circle. Now, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to lift my foot up on toe, and I'm just going to make a little circle, just a little circle pivoting on the tip of my toe. So again, a tip of my sneaker or shoe, I'm just going to make 10 circles outward, 10 circles inward. So, ye, do a little circle. Er, sang, su, wu, liu, chi, ma, jo, sure. And of course, I can circle outward, I can circle inward. Remember that yin and yang? It can be clockwise or counterclockwise. So we're going to go the opposite way. Yi, er, 
Sang Su Wu Liu Chi Ma Jo Sure. And of course, if I can do it with my right leg, I can do it with my left. I just lift my foot up on toe, and we do a circular motion outward. Do a little circle. Yi, er, sang, su, wu, liu, qi, ma, jo, shur. And now inward. Yi, er, sang, su, wu, liu, qi, ma, jo, shur. There you are. So these new exercises, you can add them to the warm-up exercises that you already have. You can use them as part of your enhancement training as you're going through your intermediate training through the art of Tai Chi. Or just do them as your own. Pick and choose what you want to do as you want to do it, working on the body part that you need to work upon. It's all about having fun and the joy of Tai Chi. We'll be right back in a moment to go over some new and elaborations upon Qigong. And voila, through the magic of television, I have magically changed my garments. <laughs> uh, we want to show this, so that way, if you want to record this, again, uh, you, again, we, as we mentioned previously, you can check out the episode, of course, on DCTV. You can record it on your DVR, record it on DVD, whatever modern media you want to use so you can practice and work upon this. Of course, we want you to keep watching DCTV as well. Yes, that is a blatant, rampant plug. Not a problem. Okay. But uh, we, we, as you watch this program, we're going to go into our next section of Tai Chi, which is going to be on Qi Kong. Qi, the vital essence of life. Air. It also stands for energy and spirit. You know, some days in life, our get up and go has got up and went. So what we wanted to do in today's program is give you some new insights, some new exercises to utilize for Qigong. We're going to teach you a couple of unique exercises, and then we're going to teach you how to apply some of the movements in your Tai Chi form individually as Qigong as exercises. So that being said, uh, let's give you a little something new to do, shall we? Uh, the first exercise we're going to teach you today is going to be uh, drawing the bow. Now, in certain styles of uh, uh, Chinese martial arts, they'll have you adopt a large, long, bent knee, wide southern style horse dance to do this exercise where I'm two fingers hook on the bow string, one finger's pushing the bow, drawing my elbow straight back, extending my other arm. Then I'm going to inhale, circling around, grabbing onto the bowstring, drawing the bow, and pushing back. Uh, in Tai Chi, we don't tend to do a southern horse, which is knees bent out. So we're just going to do this from a natural stance and focus on our upper body action. So our left hand is going to be the bow. Our right hand is going to be the bowstring. Now our left hand is utilizing an index finger. There's a four-finger claw. We're clawing here and extending our index finger straight up. The other one is in a variation of what's called the Southern Style Eagle Claw, but we're going to place the fingers together like we're hooking onto a bowstring. So what we're going to do, we're going to inhale, exhale and press, draw the bow. Inhale, draw the bow. Let's begin. Off to your right, my left, inhale, exhale, yi, inhale, exhale, er, inhale, exhale. Song, inhale, exhale. Su, inhale, 
exhale. Wu, inhale, exhale. Liu, inhale, exhale. Qi, inhale, exhale. Ba, inhale, exhale. Jo, inhale, exhale. Sure. And relax. Now, our next exercise is known as rolling the circle. I say rolling the circle. You place both your hands out in front of you. Now, earlier we taught you in our last class, we taught you about the Tai Chi balloon, moving out and back. We taught you about lion playing with the ball, going back and forth. This time we're going to circle a ball. So the first action is we're going to go forward and out. So we're going to inhale deeply, exhale. Inhaling is the top part of the circle. Exhaling is the bottom part of the circle. Inhale, exhale. Let's begin. Yi, er, Song, Su, Wu, Liu, Qi, Ba, Jo, Sure. Now from a side view, when I did that action, I extend out, down, in, and up. Now I'll reverse the circles, coming down, in, up, and back. Let's begin. Yi, er, Song, Su, Wu, Liu, Qi, Ba, Jo, sure. Now let's take some of those different Qigong exercises and now let's show you this unique apparatus, tool, device that you can use. We're hoping in the future to do a seminar here, here at the Council on Aging on this as well as other locations and that is the Tai Chi ball. Now. Many years ago, uh, I learned a uh, different form with this particular apparatus. This is normally used with the northern style lion dance and you normally have uh, this beautiful young girl dancing and it normally has these wonderful red ribbons on it and she has the lion chase the ball and she shakes it and many times it has bells on it and she'll do different circular motions and pass it to the other hand and do all the motions and the lion is chasing after the ball. Um, where you, we utilize this instead of the traditional Tai Chi ball, many times a large wooden ball. I wanted something that was lighter for my students and you could also grip at different positions. So uh, this is the Tai Chi ball. Now earlier we just showed you about the, uh, the, the uh, rolling the circle and again rolling the ball. See, drawing inward. Rolling the ball, moving outward. Lion playing with the ball. 
going back and forth. Drawing the bow, in this case we do a circular motion. We extend out and reach. We bring it back to center. Extend out and reach. Bring it back to center. Extend out and reach. Bring it back to center. Extend out and reach. Bring it back to center. There are many motions, the figure eight, that you can do. Drawing a circle. Moving inward, cat washing its face. Moving outward, in Tai Chi forms miyangs, wave hands like clouds. All these motions can be done with the Tai Chi ball. Movements such as roll back and push. Withdraw and push. Some will do this with a motion called needle at the sea bottom. Of course, we can do it with the other side as well. It's a wonderful apparatus. Again, a wonderful tool. We can do many wonderful exercises, including some of our basic warm-up and body loosening exercises with it. using one single sphere or going from side to side, pass it, pass it, pass it, pass it, going back and forth. It's a wonderful apparatus and we teach a complete seminar on it. So something to look forward to toward the future. And you say, where am I going to find that? I found it at Home Goods. Home Goods, TJ Maxx, you'd be amazed, and it's a very affordable. We do have some available, but we'll talk about that another time. Just want to give you some exercises that you can look at how to apply the Tai Chi ball or the Tai Chi sphere. Now, that being said, let me put this back for a moment. So there's some Qigong exercise, original Qigong exercises. Some Qigong exercises done with uh, the Tai Chi ball. Now, let's take some of our Tai Chi movements from Wu's and uh, let's make them Qigong. We'll start with sunrise, sunset. Hands down at your sides. We're gonna inhale, rise up. Fingertips up and all the way down. Yi. Er. Song. Su. Wu. Now, our next exercise we're going to do is ward off. So from here, we're going to do it as a Qigong exercise. So we're going to step forward to a bow and arrow stance, rounding off our left hand, right hand on our hip. We're going to rock back to seven star, doing Grasp the swallow's tail, extend out to ward off. Inhale, exhale. Yi, er, song. 
ซื้อวูอันนี้มันคือสวิตซ์ไซด์สมัยสมัย I've never done it on that side before I'm sure some of you were thinking but give it a try so we're gonna rock back the seven star left hand palm down right hand palm up grasp the swallow's tail and then we're going to go out and reach out and to ward off Like you're holding a bag of groceries and gazing at a mirror in the palm of your hand. So inhale. Yi. Er. Song. Su. Wu, did one too many, huh? That's okay. Now let's go on from there, and we've taken another important action, which is white snake sticks out its tongue. Putting your right foot forward, you're going to rock back to the seven star stance on the heel of your foot. Push down with your left hand, bend your knee and poke. Brush down and brushing the horse's mane. Push down with your left. Poke with your right. Brush down. Push down with your left. Seven star. Bend your knee. Poke with your right. Let's begin. Inhale. Yi. Er, song, su, wu. Now we've used it here on the right side, so now we're going to do it to the left. So now we're going to brush down. Press down with our right, poke with our left. Brush down, press, and poke. Brushing the horse's mane, and white snake sticks out its tongue. Let's begin. Yi. Er, song, su, wu. Now those are just a few of the Tai Chi movements from the Wu's form, and also the other form we're going to go into today, the Yang form or Yang form. But just to give you an idea how you can extract those movements from your Tai Chi form and practice them individually as a Qigong exercise. That being said, let's now progress on to our next section and our new Tai Chi form, the Yang's form. We'll be right back. And now. Now the dazzling costume change as now we go into uh, the study of the form for Tai Chi. In this case, the second form I teach is the Yang's, or as you Yankees say, Yang's uh, master form. Now this is over 108 movements in length. <gasps> so much to learn. But again, we give you an introduction into the form, and we teach it in segments as we go along. So. Uh, Uh, for those people interested in the Yang's form, simply contact the Dartmouth Council on Aging. We'll start up a class on that. I uh, would love to teach that and share with you, you with that particular form. And you're going to see we're more alike than we are different. There are very many similarities to the Wu's form you'll learn it previously, or you can learn the Yang's form in and of itself. But again, the key ingredient is there are unique, interesting elements, and the form's a little more aerobic. There, there's a couple of kicks in the form. There's a couple of Bending motions and lower stances, and of course, that works according to your body structure and shape and your condition. But today, 
Uh, we're going to go over the first 20 movements and then I'll give you a little treat showing you the next line in the form and show you what the future can hold for you if you decide to study the art of Yang's Tai Chi. Without further ado, let's uh, demonstrate the form, shall we? Yang's Tai Chi Chuan, 108 movement, master form. Commencement of the Tai Chi form. Rising up, fingertips up, exhale, sink, hands come all the way down to your waist. Ward off left. Right foot pivots to the seven star stance. Bend the knee to bow and arrow. Step up with your right foot into a close cat stance up on toe. Lion playing with the ball left. Look over your shoulder. Step over the sleeping dog with a small step to seven star. Bend your knee, rounding off your left arm as your right hand comes down to your right side. Ward off right. Right foot steps up to close cat. Lion playing with the ball right. Look over your right shoulder. Step over the sleeping dog to seven star. Warding off with your right hand as your left hand comes down to your left side. Our next sequence is called Grasp the Swallow's Tail, but in reality it's several movements in Yang. They are brush down, press, like I'm hold, pressing that Tai Chi ball, roll back, and push, rising up. Single whip, your hands relax. Move your hands across the horizon as you pivot to the bow and arrow. Form the plum blossom, brushing down, drawing in, placing the plum blossom there. Hand comes up across your face, like cat washing its face. Step over the sleeping dog and chop. Lift hands. Look to your right. Draw into the T stance. Step forward to the 70-30, which is like the seven star, but the foot is flat. Hands come in and up. White crane spreads its wings. Look to your left. Draw back to the T. Step out on toe to the crane stance. Legs straight. Left hand comes across your face. Brush your right bicep. Raise your right hand. Left hand comes down. Brush knee, twist step right. Circling your hands. Draw your foot in. Cat washing its face. Make your arm rounded like the wave of the ocean. Brush your knee out diagonally to the corner. Bend your knee and press forward. Playing the guitar. Draw up to the T stance. Step out to seven star. Now bring your hands inward as if you're trying to clap your hands. But your right hand touches your left elbow. Brush knee, twist step right. Many people also notice this brush knee, press forward. Place your foot down, drop your hand down, draw your foot in. Cat washing its face, form the wave of the ocean. Step over to sleeping dog, brushing your knee, and press forward. Brush knee, press forward, or brush knee, twist step, left. I take my left foot and I step diagonally to the corner. I pivot on the heel of my foot, opening the door, and then draw my foot in. Cat washing its face, form the wave of the ocean. Step over the sleeping dog and press forward to the bow and arrow stance. Brush knee, twist step right. Pivoting on the heel of your left foot, open the door, draw in, just like the symbol of the yin and yang. Cat washing its face, form the wave of the ocean, step over the sleeping dog and press forward. Playing the guitar, rock back as both hands move inward to a guard position. Brush knee, twist step right. Draw in once more. Cat washing its face, form the wave of the ocean, brush over, step over the sleeping dog, and press forward. Deflect downward, intercept, and punch. Yang's is distinctly different. When to grab the arm, pull the opponent's arm down, he punches with the other hand. I step over the sleeping dog, parry, bend my knee, and punch. 
Withdraw and push. I bring my hand underneath, separate my hands apart. Rolling back to seven star, bring my hands down and push forward to the bow and arrow stance. Now, from our final brush knee, twist step right or brush knee, press forward right, we're going to go into deflect downward, intercept and punch. From here, my hands come down. My left foot steps over the sleeping dog. I chamber my hand and push across, checking my opponent's punch. I step through with my left foot to seven star, slowly bend my knee to bow and arrow. At this point, I go into withdraw and push. Left hand comes underneath, separate my hands apart, withdraw, sink down, and push. Next movement is cross hands. I form a triangle with my thumbs and index fingers, pivot on the heel of my left foot, the ball of my right foot squaring off the horse. Like earlier, I circle my hands down, around, and in, left hand on the inside of my right wrist. This is normally where we would end the first section of the Tai Chi form, but we're going to continue on to give you a little more insight. Our next movement is embrace the tiger, return to the mountain. Drop your left hand down and come up. Right hand comes down, step over, brush your knee, stepping over the sleeping dog and press. Our next movement is diagonal grasp the swallow's tail. I'm going to shift my weight back, left foot steps to the corner. Brush down, press, roll back, push. Diagonal single whip. Fist under elbow. Step back, repulse the monkey right. Step back, repulse the monkey left. Step back, repulse the monkey right. Diagonal flying. Lift hands. White crane spreads its wings. Brush knee twist step. Needle at the bottom of the sea. Fan through the back. Turn around and chop. My, that's quite a lot more, isn't it? Yes, indeed. But what it does, it goes over various actions and movements far beyond what you may have learned in your introduction to the abstracted Wu's form originally taught. It's a beautiful form, and there are many shorter versions of it, a 24, 44, 66, 88. Again, different individuals. Some people don't like the, this. There's various high crescent kicks and low, and people say, I can't do that movement. And that's fine. You do what you can, as you can, when you can. Well, there you have it. There's your treat. There's uh, uh, an intermediate form uh, teaching a little bit about Yang's Tai Chi. We also showed you some new uh, Qigong exercises. We showed you some new warm-up exercises that you can add to the routines you already have or pick those individual exercises out and practice them on your own. That's the beauty of Tai Chi. Don't forget the phrases. First of all, the slower you go, the more you know. You do what you can, as you can, when you can. And remember, you have all the time in the world to learn Tai Chi. This is your instructor, Joe Ribello. Uh, again, thank you very much. And uh, we're going to be open soon. Give it time. And uh, when we do, I hope to see you here at the Dartmouth Council on Aging, learning the art. Tai Chi. At the end of class, we say a simple phrase, she she. She she means thank you, she she ni, thank you very much. In the end of China, at the end of a performance, not only does the audience applaud the performers, but the performers applaud the audience's response. So we thank each other with a round of applause. And until next time, Sha Zhen, or goodbye for now. Keep training. See you then.